Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How you doing? You're fine. All sweet. Nice to see you. My name is Nick Vujicic, and it's a pleasure to be with you. Um, I have a wheelchair over there. It's my BMW 7 Series. Uh, going to take it to pimp my ride and get some spinning rims on it. And, uh, you know, those fully pimp cars, you know, with hydraulics and stuff. Uh, you know how they bounce around and stuff. I want to get my wheelchair bouncing. Like, if I can cross the road and go, bom, bom, bom. It's really cool driving that thing around. I have no arms and no legs, and I was actually born this way. And there's no medical reason why this had happened. So I have no limbs, but I have my little chicken drumstick. And it's so funny when people see me for the first time. It's so cool. You're like, kids freak out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tell you, this little boy came up to me, and he goes, What happened? <laughs> anyway, look, we're going to have some fun today. And uh, I'm just going to tell you the funniest story of all. It was so funny. I was in a car one day. And when you see me from the outside of the car, you have no idea that I have no arms and no legs, right? You just see my gorgeous face. And we're at the traffic lights one day, and this car comes up next to us. And this girl's looking at me, and I'm like, cool, let's have some fun here. So I know she has no clue that I have no limbs. And so I look at her, and I grab the seatbelt in my mouth, and I loosen it like this. And then in the car seat, I just did this. And she was like, <laughs> anyway, I have a couple of things to show you. I, I play drums. Do you believe me? I actually play drums. I get the drumsticks in my teeth. I'm just joking. No, look, I, uh, I have a drum machine up here. And uh, we're just going to. Ah. You like that? Well then, so that's sort of more like you're rocking, you know, sort of pop, whatever, but then you got the, the ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can we have some more volume, please? Give me some ah, uh, ah, uh, juice, right? All right, so here we go, right? So it's like, you like that? That would be really cool if I could get this on my wheelchair and play it while I'm driving and get some techno going like, here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. There you go. You like that? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. I'm going to state my point. I'm going to jump off the table, do a back twist, and land on the floor. Okay. Is that cool? Uh, are you ready? Oh, there's a clock there. Okay. Can you move the clock for a second, please? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. You ready? So, uh, are you guys ready? Just let me know when you're ready. You ready? Okay, ready? One, two. I'm joking, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Just put the clock back there. If I did that, I'll break my arm or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> but honestly, along the way, you might fall down like this. Ready? <whistles> right? <laughs> Hello! Right? So, what do you do when you fall down? Get back up. Everybody knows to get back up because if I start walking, I'm not going to get anywhere. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You, so, you so, sort of put a mask on your face when you come to school and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself. And fear comes in. You know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house. Maybe there's a broken home. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're, about, you, maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? Because I tell you, I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs, 
it should be impossible for me to get back up. I mean, you go home and tie the legs and arms of your brothers and, and sisters and, and like push them down and see how long it's going to take them to get back up. You know what I mean? You know, you can tell them that you'll see them tomorrow. You know what I mean? But this is the thing. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone. And I want you to know that I found my strength in Jesus Christ. And you're going to find your strength in whatever you find it in. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up like this.